From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big morning of early, early mornings, LA Late. The toast is toasting, the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and the push for forced stimulus is here as well. This week, a lot of financial data will be released, which will show how quickly this economy is rebounding and how quickly you need stimulus to go to the Senate for a vote. The president will discuss climate all week long as a series of climate conferences start this week. And that narrative will help push the bill to reconciliation. Why? Because the Republicans don't want to give any money for climate. In this recording, I'll go over what's happening this week, what happened over the weekend, and what happened last week, which is pushing for stimulus to the finish line. We'll go over why forced stimulus, the monthly stimulus checks that senators and House members want to pay you, has suddenly become front page news. And why that front page news is needed now, as jobs are still not restored, but could be in the next few weeks. And while unemployment numbers are still low, are still surging, but may turn the other way in the next few weeks. I have all the detail and latest detail about series of companies reporting earnings starting today and what that means for your stimulus. Meantime, the strange twist of crypto overnight. It's a big morning. The toast is toasting. The butter is buttering. I'm here. You're here. And let's get to it. Let's get ready to rock and roll with, with or without bacon for early mornings. I like It's a big Monday morning of early morning mornings in LA as the nation awakes, awakens to force stimulus becoming a front page news article. Yes, after weeks of this channel reporting on forced stimulus day in, day out, suddenly other people have taken notice, <laughs> not just other YouTubers now trying to copy the narrative of this channel, but broadcast news now making it a front page news story. It's all really a good, incredible news for you because suddenly America is waking up to the push for forced stimulus. It has become suddenly the number one search story on major financial news channels for stimulus who are covering the monthly stimulus check, the reincurring stimulus checks, and adding in here, in there, the following data. That one point, that 6.6 .6 million Americans will be lifted out of poverty with those monthly stimulus checks. How are you? It's a big morning of early mornings, LA, and I hope you are having a beautiful, wonderful Monday morning. It's going to be a great day with incredible recordings on noon, afternoons, LA late evenings, and LA late nights. So stay with me throughout the day. And of course, next is mornings. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, or Casino VIP. The link is at the top of the chat and also in the pinned comment. This is an instant premiere, as early mornings always has been. And you can interact with your same familiar faces, the same family. Chat along with them and interact while watching this recording. The President of the United States has a deadline for forced stimulus, and the deadline is July. On Friday, the speakers, the, the press secretary for the President confirmed to news that the President will follow the guidelines of Leader Schumer and Speaker Pelosi. They've both said multiple times on the record and in writing that the vote will be in July, by July 4th, for forced stimulus. That means that he needs to get going. Why and where is it going? <laughs> <laughs> right to recon. Right to recon, because reconciliation is pressing up on that start date. The start date for reconciliation is two months away. And so you want the president to start reconciliation, but ironically, you may get that push this week. Why? Because the president will be talking about the single one, number one issue that could push this to reconciliation, climate. Starting today, the president will detail how he's going to go into a big climate conference, electronic conference, digital conference, Zoom conference about climate. And climate will be the topic that certainly Republicans will be asked. But they've already been asked this several weeks ago. And they said that when they look at the four stimulus package, they don't support it because there's climate in there and they will never give a single penny for climate. 
which means the bill has to go by reconciliation. Let's look at the incredible data about stimulus across the board. First, let's understand who gets for stimulus. This is you. You make less than $75,000 a year, this is you. You make $150,000 or less a year, this is you. If you're a household of four or less, this is you. And if you're on SSI or SSDI, this is you. There are two different paths to get it done. And those two different paths, let me show you right now. The House members want to do want to give you more checks, but a smaller amount over a longer period of time. So they want to give you checks every month through the pandemic plus one year, which is the upwards of about 18 months, 18 checks of stimulus. Senators want to give you stimulus checks from now to December, but bigger amounts of checks. Who are the movers and shakers? A little bit more about that later in this video, but the House members are progressives, they're junior statesmen, and the senators are elder statesmen, the, the inner circle of the Democratic Party. The House members want to pay you $2,000 for the first month and $1,000 thereafter. The senators, the amount is unknown, but insiders were on the streets as the senators want to give you upwards of $2,000 a month or $1,400 a month, which would amount to $12,000 over six months or $8,400 over six months. It's important to understand that there, the two proposals would follow the same path, and the same path got an interesting twist on Saturday. On Saturday, we learned from a news report buried, buried, not a front page news report, but buried in there, was that the number one proponent, almost number one proponent for stimulus monthly checks among House members, Omar, is quietly, secretly, one of the closest allies to leader Speaker Pelosi. That Speaker Pelosi and Omar keep their friendship very undercover. Wow. Now, 100 plus Democratic House members want those monthly stimulus checks. Smaller amount, a longer period of time. So we're looking, let's say, at $18,000 over 18 months instead of, let's say, $12,000 over six months. How does this work, LLA? Well, first step would be a reconciliation bill that would start in the House, go to the Senate, to the President. Just says we're going to do a reconciliation. No substance. This starts and takes a couple weeks to do. It is nothing of substance. It's merely procedure. It's the tow truck. Then when that's done, time to send the tow truck back to the house and load up the tow hitch. What are we loading up on that tow hitch? Well, we're loading up infrastructure and climate and taxes. And then we're loading up anything else we want to add on to the tow hitch. Speaker Pelosi may want to put in $15 billion for a foreign country. Or Omar may want to put in those monthly stimulus checks. They call for a vote in the house. Then off to the Senate we go. At the Senate, that's where those senators can take out, modify whatever Omar does or doesn't put in there, or start anew with what they want to put in there. It's a two-day process called the Votorama. And over the last two days, I try to explain to viewers that the Votorama is nothing like you've seen on this channel. It is not public. It is not grandstanding. It is not vocally debuted. It is not a bill where you see a bill five weeks ahead of time and they showcase the bill and they appear on, on CNN talking about the bill with a blow up and behind them and a backdrop and theme music and rockets. No, they keep this very quiet. What they do is essentially figure out what legislative items they want to add to the package by amendment. They only present that amendment to their friends privately. They determine with Leader Schumer when it's going to call for a vote. They don't want to tip off their opponents because the opponents may preempt it with a counter proposal. And they literally keep it like a MacGyver approach to legislation until the 11th hour when they pounce like a purple hawk with an amendment that their opponent didn't even know was coming. In fact, you don't even know it's coming. We don't know it's coming until it's literally called for a vote. It's called for a vote and everyone blinks and everyone's like, what is that? <laughs> the insiders that knew that was coming knew about it. They knew that the vote was going to be set and they knew they had enough votes. Bam, it's passed. Done. When we look at that graphic, about 21 of 50 Democratic senators want monthly stimulus checks. Remember, that's a letter. It's not the vote. And it's not the amendment.
They are not going to tell you how many people of the Democratic Party are ready to pass those stimulus checks. They've already queued them. They've already met with them. They already have a draft of the amendment, and they've already gone over it. And if they haven't at the, at the time of the courting, they'll do it by the time the bill lands by Votorama. It is very secretive how they do it. Here's what you need to know is that the president this week will be talking about climate and that this is the big signal, Purple Power, for you to push. Because when he talks about climate, that's when the bill goes to reconciliation because the Republicans aren't doing climate. So you need to push Purple Power, share this video, share the videos of today on social media and say, get it to recon. Now, here's another reason you need to get to recon. One, every month is a stimulus check. So every month that passes costs you a stimulus check. Number two, July. You heard about July early in this video. Let me go back to the graphic. The July issue has several things that compound itself with July. First issue is that with July, the Senate and the House go on vacation to September. You do not want this bill sitting around till September. Oh, no, 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 no. Leader Schumann, Speaker Pelosi said they're calling for a vote in July. <laughs> yeah, you want to call for a vote as ASAP. You don't want it pushing up on July. Why? Because rolling it to September could be the kiss of death. Number two, when looking at this data, this data for these big stimulus checks is dependent upon the economy being where it is now, the status quo. Well, you have watched and I have educated you and I continue to update you by the minute that this economy from one day to the next is not the status quo. What's going on? The economy is rebounding, indisputably rebounding. It is reopening and its growth rate is so strong that Wall Street analysts every single day are underestimating each number they're tasked to analyze by nearly 20 to 30 percent. So they're looking at unemployment numbers, they get them wrong by 30 percent. It's actually 30 percent lower. Or they see the number of jobs created 30 percent higher. Or they see how much corporate earnings for a company, it's 30 percent higher than they thought. 100 percent of the time, they're underestimating the rebound of the economy. This is troubling news for stimulus because stimulus works today at the current growth rate. It doesn't work if the growth rate, growth rate accelerates. Viewers keep on asking me, do you think we're going to get monthly stimulus checks? If the vote was today, yes. If the vote is based upon today's growth rates from yesterday, yes. But if the growth increases exponentially, if it speeds up, if we're seeing a speed up of the economy, Big issue, because then people may not want to give you stimulus if things are rebounding. There are two numbers at issue that they look at. They look at number of jobs, uh, 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 non-existent still from this economy, lost because of COVID. It's currently 8 million jobs missing. And then they look at how many people are unemployed long term. It's currently uh, about 12 million. We're, at, we're reducing about a million a week. So those are the numbers they're looking at regularly. Now, if those numbers improve exponentially faster than the current growth rate, then anything could be at issue. Coming up late in this recording, I'm going to go over what's going on with the corporate earnings this week and what those corporate earnings could mean for you and your stimulus. Meantime, what's really surprising is that before we went into the weekend, on Friday, we were expecting that letter. Where's that letter? You know which letter. The letter for Education Secretary Miguel Cardona to the President of the United States telling him whether he can forgive student loan debt by executive order. He was tasked, he was ordered, he was instructed to do that letter by last Friday. Where is it? It's Monday. We haven't seen it. So in addition, if you're watching this video and you have student loan debt and you want it forgiven, do what anyone else would do. Tag Elizabeth Warren, tag Leader Schumer, say, where is the Education Secretary's letter? It was due last Friday about forgiving student loan debt by executive order. Elizabeth Warren has made it very clear. The president does have executive authority. Obama forgave student loan debt. Trump forgave student loan debt, both by executive order. So Biden can do the same. What's at issue is, why don't we have that letter? <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in this recording, we'll have a new video from the White House, surprising in which she says who may get new jobs under the, the four stimulus package, apparently veterans. And a new video which surfaced over the weekend that has baffled viewers this channel, still baffles me. We'll watch it again and figure out why was the video released. Coming up later today is more exciting news as LA goes into mornings at 12 noon. 
uh, excuse me, in 12 noon. Coming up later is Mornings LA. Join me on that show and then noontime. And then Afternoons LA, a new show every two hours. But first, here's a little bit about the community page, rent, utilities, food, mortgage assistance, and more. And after the commercial break, I'll go over a new di- a new report that's out about this money that suggests more of it's coming in May. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues right now on early, early mornings LA. The toast is toast and the butter is buttering. I'm here, you're here, and the bacon's missing. <laughs> You know, what else is new? So, <laughs> the bacon's always missing. Thank you for joining me on Early Mornings LA. Hope you're having a beautiful Monday morning. Uh, it's a great day with incredible progress across the board. When During that commercial break, you saw something in the community uh, page discussion about rent, utilities, food, and internet. A new video, a new, a new report released over the weekend shows that third stimulus money for rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, homeowners assistance, and, uh, and, and similar type of bills has still not landed city and state, and it's coming in May. So watch for that. Meantime, the same report says that in some states, money from second stimulus has not even arrived. Those states include Florida. Not particularly clear what's going on. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Casino VIP. The link is in the top of the chat and also in the pinned description. This week, the President of the United States will make the push again to make it look like he's doing bipartisan support for the four stimulus, but he's really not. Um, a series of videos which I released on Saturday showed that the press reporters in the press room don't really think he's doing bipartisan support. It's just sort of faux bipartisan support. Remember, bipartisan support doesn't get you stimulus checks. The Republicans don't want to give you stimulus checks. The president does is not opposed to it. He's just not pushing for it. The big push for stimulus checks come from those House and Senate members when it gets into the bill. It's important to understand that the bill needs to be done sooner rather than later because this economy is really booming. Last week, we saw how this economy rebounded faster than anyone saw coming. Let me show you quickly what happened last week and then show you what's happening today. First, the CPI came in at the highest number since 2018. Fang stocks, Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google were absolutely on fire last week. Then, Wells Fargo reported its first quarter earnings for 2021, killed estimates, beat them, nearly doubling. Wall Street expected 0.70 a share came in at 1.0, and then retail sales blew it out of the water. Even after a month that was down in February, retail sales in March nearly were double what Wall Street said. And then came the other data later in the week. Uh, we had really shocking details from banks like Morgan Stanley and others and J.P. Morgan that absolutely had big news. But what about today? Oh, boy. Here we go. Today, Coca-Cola, United Airlines, and IBM will be reporting earnings shortly before the bell or after the bell. 
Jim Cramer says, we're expecting good numbers from Coca-Cola, United Airlines. He says, if there's anything about like Delta, you're going to hear about a coming boom. Oh, boy. Big boom. Economic boom. I really think it's the right place to be. IBM, he thinks it's good as well. Then tomorrow comes Netflix, Procter & Gamble, and J&J. Kramer says of J&J, I bet it's a fantastic quarter and reveals even better pipeline. Netflix, he says, it's, even their conference call has great content. But then Friday, oh boy, folks, Friday is the day in which we could potentially see through the looking glass into where this economy may be by July when the stimulus checks land in the Senate. It's all about gauging the power of reopening, says Kramer about American Express. With a combination of small business, credit, travel, and entertainment, we should be able to get a good read on the strength of the economy going forward. Oh, boy. That is exciting for Friday. Also, before Friday, we'll have the new unemployment numbers. And those unemployment numbers, boy, those will be singularly the biggest unemployment numbers you've seen in a while on this channel. Because last Thursday, we dropped to the lowest level ever reported on this channel. And since March of 2020, 575. From 700 the week before, could we jump drop even bigger? Imagine if we came in at 300,000 new unemployment claims. <laughs> the shockwaves it would cause. Remember, we started this pandemic at about 200,000 jobless claims a week pre-COVID. So the current level is currently 500,000 throughout much of the 40 weeks of this channel as we approach our one-year anniversary. It has been 1 million claims a week, 900, 800, 700,000 claims a week. So let's see where we go. Meantime, what about the EIDL grant and all those business other grants? First, there is no grant to start a new business. Second, the $5,000 EIDL grant on the third stimulus does not look like SBA wants to do it currently. <laughs> Moving goalposts. The shuttered venue grant, which is not just for venues, has not still gone live. SBA sent out an email over the weekend, which I got, that said, we're having technical, technical, difficulty, te technical difficulties, like I'm having difficulty saying the word, uh, going live with the new website for the shuttered venue grant. Stay with us. It's about to go live. Then the remaining the $10,000 grant, it's being paid out. Some viewers finally got over the weekend. If you applied or apl replied in February, you may be stuck in a vor vortex. Yes, some viewers are now stuck in a vortex for that as well. Also happening as well is the PPP grants about to go live. It's uh, it's a new extension uh, by executive order. And also making news over the weekend was that exciting development from Ron Wyden. He proposes a incredible six thousand dollars of stimulus. How does that six thousand dollars stimulus work? It's a replacement for PUA, which like FPUC and PUC are going to go away in September. Wyden doesn't want you to be left without any benefits because you don't qualify for unemployment. You're not an employee. You are an independent contractor, sole practitioner, Uber, Lyft. His concept is very simple. A standalone bill he introduced last Friday would provide you $250 a week for six months per year, which would pay you $6,000. What a great idea. It's just a great idea. He sees that the unemployment system is broken. It needs to be fixed. And it's one of many standalone bills, which you're going to see over the next few weeks to fix things. We have that. We have student loan debt forgiveness. We have all these other items that are looming as well. We're also waiting for advisory whether the tenth whether there's new guidance on how to update IRS about a missing child about a child they may not know for purposes of that child care tax credit, which starts in July. Remember, it's $3,600 starting the month of July or $3,000 if the child's 17 or newborn. It's for anyone who has income less than $75,000. So you're, yes, if you're on SSI or SSDI, it is you. On Friday, buried in one of the videos, I found an incredible revelation from the White House press secretary. And during that exchange, the White House press secretary explained that the job, the four stimulus will have some incredible new relief for veterans. Oh boy, what is this? Let's listen. To this. Uh, this our obligation to veterans by creating. Wow, there is a plane right overhead. Um, just for anyone, anyone tuning in online, uh, the American Jobs Plan will help meet the obligation by creating millions of good jobs for veterans and their spouses, growing opportunities for small veteran-owned businesses, and helping ensure the delivery of world-class, state-of-the-art health care. Uh, here's what the jobs plan means for veterans and their families. 
$18 billion to modernize VA health facilities, quality job creation for veterans and their spouses. It outlines steps the federal government can take, expanding opportunities for small veteran-owned businesses. Veterans are 45 percent more likely to be self-employed than non-veterans. I also wanted to let you know, I'm, I'm jamming through this because so interesting. She, she talks about jobs for veterans and businesses for veterans. I don't know any other details to it. <laughs> I wanted to show you that video because it's really quite exciting. Again, she's detailing new benefits for veteran-owned businesses and new also um, benefits for jobs for veterans across the board. Not very clear. Also not very clear was this video released over the weekend. Sir, I Let's can listen hear you. And just uh, how'd you first get involved in home care? Caregiving for me is a calling. I started caring in nursing homes, then transitioned to in-home caregiving. I say to folks, I'm not giving up on you. I'm here for the long haul. I'll be here for you when you're sick. When the pandemic hit, my hours were cut, so was my pay. Caregivers do not have the luxury or privilege of working remotely. I feel people undervalue caregivers in our society. That's why I'm glad President Biden is talking about caregiving and talking about caregivers like me. Well, you know, Susie, I kind of understand that. My mom got sick got hospice and help. And what that made me realize was, how about those people don't have family? What are the biggest problems you face? Caregiving is a 24 seven job. You have to work holidays. You have to work weekends. You have to work Mother's Day, Father's Day. It takes a lot out of you. And I think so many folks work so many hours is because they're not getting the pay they deserve. We need to get people to want to do this kind of work. And by them ha not having any benefits, who wants to do a job like that? The pay, the medical, um, sick leave, we need to take care of ourselves because as caregivers, we tend to neglect ourselves because we're doing so much care because we're caring for others. That's why we're gonna make sure that in this caregiver legislation I have, you'll be in a position to get wages and benefits for the job you do. I appreciate what you've done. People like you should be rewarded adequately for what you do. You're an essential part of whether or not people can live full lives. So thank you so much. Stay healthy. It's an honor, sir. It was an honor. I wish I could see you in person, give you a hug. And, and there you are. Not particularly clear what's going on in that video from a president who promised hazard pay for essential workers, for caregivers, for teachers, for frontline workers during his campaign, during his transition, and during his proposal for the third stimulus package. Will it get into the fourth stimulus package? It still can. Ultimately, push purple power, push, push, push. On a side note, which is sort of related to what's talking about in this video, you may sometimes see the president get off message and get back on message. And you saw it yesterday. Yesterday, out of nowhere, the president who had had a policy during the month of February about the number of refugees in the United States being allowed in, changed his policy last Friday. Then the progressives said you can't change your policy from what you promised us in February. By from between Friday and yesterday, he changed it again. So pushing helps whether you're progressive or you're purple power. Push, push, push purple power because ultimately your voice is heard. Everyone's voice is heard. This week, two major things to push on. First, get this bill to reconciliation. Get it to reconciliation. Get it now. The viewers this channel care, I care, and you care. This is not a channel about reporting news and just sitting back and holding up a script. This is about getting changes. So push Purple Power. Get this bill to MSC. Get this to reconciliation. We're two and a half, two, we're two months and a few weeks away from recon. You want to start. Second, also, Push Elizabeth Warren and Chuck Schumer, if you are a student loan debt owner, to get that executive order done. Get that memo from that education secretary in so we all see it. And with that, if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. It's our one-year anniversary coming up in a couple of days, April 25th. Let's do it. Trying to get to 4,000 subscribers. Also like this video. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, a Calcino VIP. Stay informed, stay focused. I'll see you next on Mornings LA. Here again is our schedule programming for today. 
and throughout the week. It's easy to follow because there's a new show every two hours. The schedule starts, <laughs> if I can find it, uh, the schedule starts, here we go, uh, in just a few hours from now as morning to LA late kicks in. Then two hours after that is noontime. Then afternoons LA late. 12 to 4 Eastern Standard Time. Then the second afternoons LA late at 6 p.m., followed by evenings LA late again. And then late night, our irreverent laugh a minute moment with Sirloin and Javita Late. Stay informed, stay focused, and stay with LA for more. <laughs>